Sid Zweigbaum down on the field post game with Stevenson Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle. The Mustangs defeat Lebanon Valley 24 to 13 today. Coach, obviously, you know the first couple of years of this program, these guys had your number. Uh, how good does it feel to kind of reverse things? You've beaten them three in a row now. Yeah, you know, any win in our league is a big win for us. You know, our guys did a great job today. Um, you know, I think we only ran 58 offensive plays, so you know, we kind of had a. You know, a feeling they were going to try to shorten the game, you know, limit possessions, and, and they did a great job. Um, you know, but, you know, at the end, you know, we, we, we put enough points on the board to get the W. Your offense was uh, very efficient uh, in the first half. You mentioned I think you only had three possessions in the first half, and, and one uh, one was a kneel down. So, uh, you know, when your offense isn't getting the ball a lot, uh, you know, how important is it for them to convert on third downs? There's a lot of, lot of third and threes, a lot of third and twos, and, and you guys were going to the air on those plays. Yeah, and it was tough because it was always at the 30. You know, you're kind of right at the fringe of punt, right at the fringe of, uh, of kick the field goal. So, um, you know, you got to be efficient, and, and you've got to be able to get hard yards when you need them, and, and we did at times today. I think that's something that we've got to look at. You know, when we need to get a hard two yards or a hard three yards, we've got to be able to execute it, I think, a little bit more consistently. And our guys will be fine. Um, you know, we've gotten much better on third downs this year as compared to last, which is one of our big goals for the season. So, you know, I, I think we're getting better um, on the offensive side every week. And, and of course, defensively, um, you know, we held them, you know, just under 50 percent. So um, we'd like to be a little bit better there, too. You know, they did some things in the run game to us that we hadn't seen on film. And to their credit, they, they did a nice job scheming us up. Uh, Brennan Irving, a guy who's had over 300 yards in three games against you, were you focused on taking him out of the game? Um, or is that just kind of the place he was in there you guys just did a good job again? Because they used a lot of guys in the backfield. Yeah, you know, they kept fresh legs back there all day, you know, and, and, and he definitely is not a, you know, wasn't somebody that we talked a great deal about. For us, it's more about, you know, attacking the scheme as it is to attacking particular players. Uh, Daniel Williams, the quarterback, uh, 23 of 28, 192 yards and two touchdowns. Obviously, uh, he played more as a freshman than as a sophomore. Uh, his completion percentage was, was not nearly what it was today. Uh, how important is it for you guys? Uh, you know, he's coming into today with 65%, obviously improved upon that. Um, how important is that for the offense? Well, it's huge, you know, to be able to you know throw the ball and know that you're going to you know be over 75, 76 percent completion. You feel pretty good about lining up and throwing it. So um, he, he's continued to grow and continue to work at his craft. And you know, I, th I still think the ceiling is very, very high for him. I, I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. Uh, we kind of jinxed him on the air. He was 13 to 13. He comes out and uh, throws an incomplete pass. Uh, and another jinx we avoided is 35 straight games with a turnover. Uh, did you ever start to think about it you know, midway through the third quarter? Uh, you know, you guys hadn't had a turnover on defense yet. No, I mean, they do a good job ball security on their side of the ball. And we knew that they were going to limit the number of times they put the ball in the air. So, um, and that's something I gave a lot of thought to. Um, but we we definitely knew he was 13 to 13. So thanks, because we didn't talk about it at halftime. Well, 13 is an unlucky number, even though he wears number 13. Uh, coach, next week, uh, FDU Florham, obviously they're coming here. It's a long trip for them. Uh, what do you know about them? And what do you guys have to do uh, to get ready for them? You know, it's another game in the MAC. You know, we've got to look at what we can do to improve. Um, you, you know, and be, be more efficient in all three phases of the game. So for us, again, it's it's going to be you know looking at, at what we can do to get better. All right, coach. Well, you've won 14 of your last 15 September games, 11 in a row, and seven in a row at home. Uh, you know, quite a difference. Uh, uh, you know, a few years makes. I thought we weren't talking about that stuff. All right. Well, good luck uh, next week, Coach. We'll see you then. Uh, that was uh, Mustangs head coach Ed Hoddle. Stevenson defeats Lebanon Valley 24-13. to uh, We'll see you next Saturday.